The local housing market came alive in April and it continues to be busy after a flat few months. That's according to the monthly real estate report from FC Tucker. Realtor Dan Brown is here to explain it all. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning and happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, you're pretty happy, too, because things are getting really hot out there. What's going on? Happy and busy. Yes. Busy, busy means happy. Um, no, the whole real estate market is, is, is really working hard right now. Agents are scrambling. Um, and we talked when I was here last time, last month, you know, we saw the March numbers and they were still kind of still coming out of the winter months. But I said, you know, in that first couple of weeks of April, things just took off and we have the April numbers and they sure did. And um, it sounds yeah. like prices are jumping. You know, prices held really kind of even throughout the winter months. And just in April, they, they, they jumped up five and a half percent across the entire Mybor market, which is indicative of some of the demand that we're seeing. And that's not as crazy as it was a couple of years ago, but it's significant. My brother-in-law just bought a house in Columbus and they had a hard time. They tried to look at 12 houses and they could not They could only get into two before they finally bought a house because they were going so quick. What are we seeing with days on market? Yeah, that's that, that's the other story. You know, uh, during the winter months and as we came through March, you know, they were, you know, those days, how long it takes a house to sell on average was in the 30s, which is kind of normal. And it's, it dropped, it crashed right back down to seven. Um, in fact, we were talking about some, some numbers. You know, the same amount of new listings were the na- number of listings in the month of April, which means houses are selling kind of as soon as they come on market. Wow. So we're back to that fast pace. But your brother-in-law got a house. Yes. Yeah. And that's the point. That's you know, the key. It's, it, you know, it's, it's being very competitive right now, but average people are buying houses successfully. So the key is don't wait and be prepared. Inventory, you're saying it was like kind of the same number as the amount of people coming to buy a house. Is that up? But that, yeah, if we look at that and compare that against this time last year, we're up 40 to 50 percent in the core counties around Indianapolis. It's up 50 percent. So there's, there's significantly more to look at. And they even, I mean, think about it, your brother-in-law. There were 10 to 12 houses to even think about mm. looking at, where last year there would have been three, uh, three or four, and they would have all been sold in the first hours. Now, you actually get a chance to go look at some houses, but you can't wait. Mm-hmm. You've got to make a decision and move forward. Interest rates, are those still an issue factor? Because I know they did jump. They did jump. It was expected by the Fed, but so what do we think with that? You know, the interest rates came up uh, again, but they've slowed. Those increases have slowed, and the mortgage rates are adjusting. Keep, mortgage rates aren't necessarily tied to the Fed rate. So it, consumers have actually gotten used to being in the sixes, which is historically pretty normal. When I was in, when I got out of college, they were 16. So, yeah, there was, yeah, you did buy a lot of houses in the early 80s. But the point is the, um, that, that even today's younger consumers n- now are comfortable with six. They've worked those into their budget. And sellers are also realizing that they're going to be stable. And that's the key. It's a stable market. It's not crazy. Uh, things aren't going wild. Nothing's on fire. But it's busy and it's fast paced, but it's stable. And we think it's going to get busier. It's absolutely going to get busier. We're looking for a busy, busy June. Dan Brown, thanks so much. We appreciate it.